Well, it was one of the country's worst building fires. 50 years ago, 30 men died when a blaze ripped through the Salvation Army Men's Hostel in Melbourne's CBD. Today, emergency crews and relatives of the victims held a memorial service to mark the anniversary of the tragedy. Stephanie Ferrier reports. After half a century, finally a fitting farewell for some of the city's less fortunate. Former firefighter Trevor Reid can still vividly remember the worst fire of his career. The flames were pouring out of the third floor. When I entered the building, I noticed that there were only three or four men standing around. And I thought at the time, um, this is not looking good. Fire and death in Melbourne's little Lonsdale streets as the Salvation Army's William Booth Memorial Hostel for Men, the centre of a tragedy. While the fire was quickly brought under control, the thick, choking smoke claimed 30 lives. Many victims were elderly and disabled. The affected area of the building contained some 200 small cubicles rented at 75 cents a night. Most of the men who stayed at the hostel were wanderers and pensioners, with perhaps no near relatives. And... Trevor Reid says his saddest moment was 10 days after the fire, when he attended the funeral of 15 victims who hadn't been claimed by any family or friends. If it had been 30 soccer players, elderly citizens or something like that, that they would have been remembered forever. But because they were nobodies, destitute men, broken men, soldiers, they were forgotten. Brad Lloyd's Uncle Jack was one of the victims. To me it's to sort of like pay my last respects. I remember at the time I was, I was pretty gutted. As a kid I was only 12. And there was obviously a lot, like my uncle, a lot of good men there. And um, they've been remembered. Stephanie Ferrier, ABC News, Melbourne.